To get earthy, dark tones in your images, it's actually surprisingly easy with two different tools in Lightroom, and that is the Tone Curve and then the HSL. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create this editing style in your images using a very simple step-by-step -step workflow. Now, if you want to make this process even faster, I've included a few free presets that you can get access to down below by signing up to my email list, then I'll send them your way right away. Otherwise, if you just wanna know how this process works, then of course, let's just get into it right now. So here in Lightroom, I have a few different images that we're going to work with, all of which are super colorful, so they are the perfect candidates for creating this earthy editing style. When you break down what this editing style actually looks like, you have to just consider what the colors are doing. So if you look at an image that has earthy tones or is using this editing style, you'll notice that the colors are relatively dark, they're desaturated, and the contrast is relatively high usually. So it's either moderately contrasty or super contrasty. With that in mind, that gives you some clues of exactly what you need to do in Lightroom. So in terms of contrast, that means you're probably going to have to increase the highlights and bring down the shadows. And then in terms of color, that means you have to use the saturation and the luminance adjustments within the HSL to achieve that dark and desaturated look. So in this image here, we have obviously lots of green and yellow hues. So to create this effect, I like to start with the saturation in the HSL panel within the develop module. And then you'll just go through and bring down the saturation of any dominant colors in your photo. So in this case, we have green and yellow and then a bit of blue. So starting with the yellows, I'm gonna drag this down like so and just desaturate it to a point where it's not just black and white, but there is still a little bit of color in there. It's just muted down. I'm gonna do the same thing with the greens like so. Then I'm gonna go to the oranges and just see what options I have with these other colors. Now I just have a little bit left over in the sky, so I'll go to the blues and just drag that down a little like so. Now our image looks super desaturated, but it's on the right track for this earthy editing style. Next, we'll go to the luminance, and this is gonna control the brightness of our colors. So the same colors that we edited within the saturation, we'll do the same within the luminance. So with the greens, I'm gonna drag that down to darken. With the yellows, I'll drag that down to darken just a little bit. And then with the blues, I'm gonna drag down to darken just a little bit as well. Now, what we've done here is gone and darkened all of our most dominant colors in the photo. Now, as for the other colors, such as the oranges and reds, we can go and just bring those up a little bit so then our photo doesn't feel too flat and there is a little bit of life left over there. Now, once you've finished adding the saturation and luminance adjustments, we can go over to the hue and then here you can adjust these as you wish just to further stylize the look of your edit. In this case, I wanna make these yellowish greens look a little bit more green. So that looks good right in there. As for the blues, I'll maybe just add a bit of cyan. So now our colors are really coming together, turning that adjustment on and off. Look at that massive difference that we've just created, but our photo feels a little bit flat. So luckily we can go to our tone curve, click on our point curve. And if you're new to using the tone curve, I highly recommend checking out my other tutorial that you can find up in the corner right now covering everything you need to know about this tool. But anyways, we want to just add a little bit more contrast here. So I'll bring up the highlights and then I'll bring down the shadows just like this. And then I can play around with the midtones Maybe bring that up a touch as well. And now just like that, looking at the before and after, look at that huge difference that we've made only using two different tools in Lightroom. We just desaturated our colors, darkened them down, adjusted the hues for further stylization, and then just added some contrast with the tone curve. Now this is a pretty easy example, but let's go through another example where there's a little bit more colors going on within our photo. Now in our next photo, this is obviously super colorful and there's a lot of different hues. We have blues, we have reds, greens, so it's not as easy as our previous example. However, we're gonna go through the exact same steps as before. Starting with the saturation, we're gonna go and desaturate all of those dominant hues. So I see blue, red, yellow, and green. So let's go and do that right now. Starting with the blues, I'll decrease the saturation of that. Once again, not so it's black and white, but just so there's a little bit of color left over there. Then I'll go to the greens, I'll desaturate that, the yellows, the oranges and the reds. So now we just have a desaturated and muted looking photo. Next, we'll go to our luminance and we're going to darken down the most dominant colors within the photo. So we have the blue and the red slash orange are probably gonna be the ones that we need to darken the most. So going to the blue slider, I'll drag that down to darken up those blues. Then I'll go to my oranges, drag that down just a little and the reds. And then as for the colors in the trees here, I want those to maybe brighten up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna increase the yellows 
and then increase the greens a little. So that just gives us a little bit more variation between the exposure of our colors. Now, of course, to finish things off, we'll go to the hue adjustment, and then we can adjust the hue as necessary of our main colors here to further stylize the edit. So once you're happy with your colors, turning that on and off, it makes a huge difference. We've already muted down the majority of our photo. We need to now go and make things pop by adding some contrast. Once again, going to our tone curve, clicking the point curve, and then going and adding some highlights, bringing down the mid-tones and maybe adding some more contrast by bringing down the shadows. So now our photo really pops. So now looking at our before and after, you can see how we've totally muted down our photo, but our photo still pops even though we've desaturated a lot of the colors because we added that contrast back into the image. So now let's go through one last final example. And again, if you want to make this process even faster, you can get some free presets for this exact editing style down in the description below. Now for our final example, this one is pretty straightforward because we just have one dominant color which is the blue so starting with the saturation once again I'm gonna decrease the saturation of the blue and then also the aqua then I'll go to the luminance and I'm gonna darken down the blue darken down the aqua next I'll go to the hue adjust this as necessary and then I'll go to the tone curve and then just of course add some of that good crispy contrast and just like that we have now added a more muted earthy feel to our edit just with a couple of clicks with our HSL and tone curve adjustment so that is how to create earthy tones in Lightroom and it's super super easy with this workflow since you're just desaturating and darkening your colors the HSL adjustment can do the bulk of the adjustments for you and then the tone curve adjustment just finishes things off by adding some contrast to to your images. Now, once again, if you want to speed up this editing process, then make sure to download the free presets down below. And of course, hit that like button to help support this video and this channel. I appreciate it so much. Anyways, guys, my name is Brennan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then. <laughs>